Hold up. And Croeso to Iva Bryn Mike. And as you guys know, as you guys know, if you've been around for a long time, you guys know I love my rugby. Now, if it's one time a year that I absolutely love, it's Six Nations. And I can't be going into the Six Nations without giving you guys my predictions. Now, it really is the tale of three teams this season for the Guinness Six Nations Championship. There is only three teams I can actually see winning this championship. And one of them just happens to be Wales. One of them just happens to be my own country. My nation. But... Is my nation the favourites? No. No. And now, this is where, you know, I am not being biased whatsoever. But honestly, I'm looking at the shape that each team is going into the Six Nations. I'm looking at it from an unbiased standpoint. And the team to beat, not surprising, is Ireland. They only lost one game in 2018. The Irish are on form. So, I mean, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky stopping the Irish. But if there's any two teams that pose the biggest threat to Ireland, it is Wales and England. The old enemy, England, right? So, let's, let's get on to England because... I, I look at the uh, performance in the Autumn Internationals. It was it was actually a good performance from England. You know, mixed in terms of results, but a good performance from them nonetheless. You know, I mean they got a great victory against a poor Australian team, and they also beat South Africa, and they narrowly lost to New Zealand as well. So. You know, I mean, it's, it was a great autumn international swim. They needed that to bounce back. But most importantly, as any rugby fan will know, England turn up World Cup year. That's it. That's your, I mean, you, you can actually get away with anything whatsoever. You know, in the other years, between World Cups, you, you can get away with anything, right? You can have France win the Grand Slam, Ireland win the Grand Slam, Wales win the Grand Slam. When it comes to World Cup year, England turn up. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they they kind of turn up again because we want to beat England at their best. So, we do have, you know, three teams that in my mind are the only three teams that are in this championship hunt. And you know, the other one being Wales, I'm not going to say too much about Wales because you know, I just get accused of being absolutely biased. Which I mean, I, I'll be the first one to admit when Wales are playing, I'm 100% supporting Wales. I'm Welsh, give me a break. So, looking at what's happening with Wales, the first time ever, a clean sweep in the autumn internationals, and we are chasing. A national record for the most consecutive wins. Now, I do believe we are three games away from breaking that record. And the third game in the Six Nations is against England. And it is at the Principality Stadium. So, come on England. Come on over. Come on over. We're looking forward to it. Because we've got two years that we actually owe you a defeat. We owe you a defeat. I mean, let's face it. Two years ago, capitalised off a dodgy kick. I mean, you got to admit, you kind of did get lucky with that one. 
and last year the disallowed try which it sparked fury it did it sparked fury i mean it was a try the tmo referee did not even allow it so i mean it, basically like that's in the past that's in the past but after those two kind of dodgy losses to england this year could be the year this year could be the year and i am looking forward to it but as i said england turn up world cup year island of the team to beat so we gotta look at you know we got we gotta pick our matches unfortunately for us fortunately for the welsh our two home games in this six nations championship are against england are against Ireland. So we got both of them at home and both of them I mean the track record isn't fantastic in Cardiff. I think when it comes to win percentage your know, Wales actually edge edge them when it comes to Cardiff. It's a tough place to get a win at. But we look at the other teams in the Six Nations. Scotland they had a decent, I mean, they had a decent, uh, you know, autumn international performance. I mean, I, I maintain that Scotland should have beaten South Africa. I maintain that. They were unlucky, in my opinion. And, obviously, France had a very, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult, because the French can be such a good team. They can be on point. They can be on fire. But it's just not performing to the standards that the British teams are. The British and Irish team is. So it's kind of a tricky situation. I mean, basically, when it comes to the wooden spoon, I think we can all agree Italy are the most likely for the wooden spoon. It is just as simple as that. I mean, Italy, unfortunately, they had a, you know, they had a, you know, it was a, a very, uh, you know, kind of tough autumn international for them. I mean, they did get the win against Georgia, if I remember correctly, which proves that they should still be in the Six Nations. But me personally, I think it's, it's time to expand the Six Nations a little bit, maybe, maybe Georgia, they deserve a shot. So, with Italy taking control of the wooden spoon, I mean, I, I think it's going to be five straight defeats from, in fact, let me get the fixtures up so I can just walk people through this, walk everyone through it, let's see what we have got going right so the opening game france versus wales and is in the strade de france is in paris now i think wales they should get a win there they'll, they'll kick it off with a win in france brilliant stuff scotland versus italy Pfft, scotland all day i mean come on then the big game. The big game. And now this one is going to be crucial. Ireland versus England. In Dublin. In Ireland. That game is going to be crucial. Because Ireland for me are the favourites to win. England. Uh, it depends which England show up. If England show up like they usually do World Cup year. It's going to be a hell of a game is going to be a hell of a game and whoever wins i mean if england win we're probably in trouble we're probably in trouble if england win they could probably go ahead and win the grand slam my honest opinion because once you got ireland out of the way the only challenge then for england is wales and considering that wales they should get a win against france opening game they should get a win France are going to be a little bit downhearted which will boost England's spirits even more momentum 
momentum at the moment is with Ireland and Wales. So just basing it on momentum and what I think will happen. I think Ireland will get the win over England. It will dishearten the English, but they will bounce back against France. I, my honest opinion, they will bounce back. But against Wales, this may be the bias side of me coming out, but I think Wales have got where it takes to beat England. To finally end that English streak of victories that they have over us. I think we, we've, done, we, we've done enough in the autumn. We're good enough. We can do it. Can Wales beat Ireland though? It's going to be the final game of the... Uh, yep, final game of our season. Can Wales do it? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, uh, Ireland... They're playing immensely at the moment, so my favourites to win are Ireland. I do believe, though, that Wales will be second in the standings. If Wales don't win it, they're going to be second. England, the bounce back that they had in the autumn, it was great to see. I think they are going to be a threat and a possible outsider when it comes to the Six Nations Championship. I mean, if they beat Ireland opening, uh, opening weekend, England are on for it. My personal opinion. If England beat Ireland, they're on for it. But I just don't see it happening. I think Ireland will beat England. England will bounce back against France, but Wales then, I, I just think that Wales have a bit more depth you know, I mean, maybe not the out, you know, the outright best fifteen, but I mean, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I just think Wales should get a narrow win against England. So, you know, Ireland to win it, Wales second, England third. Now, when it comes to who I think is going to finish fourth, I'm going Scotland. I'm going Scotland, and Scotland actually the darkest of dark horses to win the Six Nations, in my opinion. Scotland, I do believe, are good enough to beat England. They are good enough to beat Ireland. They're good enough to beat Wales on their day. But I don't think it's going to happen, though. So, my predictions... Ireland to win. Do I think they're going to do it in Grand Slam fashion? Uh, that could be a tricky one. That could be a very tricky one. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could come to a situation where England beat Wales, Wales beat Ireland, and Ireland beat England. It could come to that kind of situation. That's how close it is, in my opinion. I, I don't know. I don't know. If any team's going to win it in Grand Slam fashion, it's one of those three teams. It's one of those three teams. Ireland, I think, will probably end up winning the Six Nations. England, unfortunately, I, I just don't... I can't see them um, getting past Ireland in the first game. And I think that's going to kind of put them on a bit of a back foot type thing, especially when it comes to the game against Wales, because Wales will be on a massive high, because in the second week, we, we got Italy. You know, I mean, England will have France and that, that should be a good game for England to win, but Wales will have the ultimate confidence booster against Italy, and that will, I, I think that game Wales, Italy, if Wales beat France and then beat Italy, they're tied. They're tied for the Welsh record for most consecutive wins. I, I do believe I'm right in saying that. So, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a very interesting Six Nations Championship. 
personally, it's a tale of three teams. England, Ireland, Wales. I think Ireland are going to win it. Wales second, England third. You might say that's me being biased. I just, it's personally what I think. Can England win it? If they beat Ireland, I reckon they're on for it. Can Wales win it? Yes. I reckon if Wales beat England in that third game, Wales are on for it. Especially if England, if England are able to beat Ireland in the opening game and then they lose to Wales in the third game, Wales are on for the Grand Slam. I, that's the only way I see a Grand Slam happening for Wales. So, Ireland, Six Nations champions again, Grand Slam, possibly, Wales second, England third, Scotland fourth, and uh, Dark Horses, in my opinion, to cause an upset. You know what I mean? They're capable of uh, beating any of the top three teams, same as France, really. It just depends on how they play on the day. So, uh, yeah, Scotland fourth, in my opinion, France in fifth, and Italy, wooden spoon, not surprising. It's going to be an interesting Six Nations. It's going to be a very interesting Six Nations, and as you can tell, I have bought myself the new Welsh rugby jersey. Yes, yes. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had the money there. It had to be done. You have to buy an up to date Welsh rugby shirt, mate. You can't be slumming it in your old Welsh rugby shirts. So I bought one up to date. I'm now feeling funky fresh, ready for the Six Nations. Like I said, Ireland to win, Wales second, England third, Scotland fourth, France fifth, and Italy wooden spoon. And that's just the way I think it's going to go. So if you guys want to let me know in the comments your predictions for the Six Nations, what who do you think is going to win it? Will it be a Grand Slam? Will there be... Will, will France bounce back? Will Scotland shock the world? Will Italy, will Italy do the impossible? I mean, it's a beautiful thing about rugby. No one knows. Although, let's be fair, Italy, uh, no. Italy, no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So, it is what it is, guys. You might say it's biased, but let me know your predictions down in the comments below. England got a tough time ahead, opening game against Ireland, Wales opening a game against France. I will be doing my live stream reactions to these games, as I always do. And I will be doing like a midweek review of each game. So, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to drop a like down. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And of course, you know if you are new and it's your first time seeing my face, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I've been Mike and we have been talking Six Nations Rugby. And we shall catch you in two weeks, February 1st, for Wales versus France. Allego.